Okay, so one of my subs asked me if I got anything weird or unusual at the flea market recently, and I have. I got this. Uh, this here is a uh, uh, some kind of Civil War surgical device. I don't know. That's not what this video is about. This video is about Paris. Now you're thinking to yourself, but Llama, you strange, eccentric, and incredibly attractive beast, why do you have a large book about Paris? Isn't it lovely? Well, it's not actually a book. This, I saw at the flea market, and I was thinking to myself, you know, it's so obvious, anybody who comes to my house will know that this is fake. <laughs> It's even got it's even got like a liner, like like a, a, a thick cloth kind of thing. But yeah, you could totally hide your stash in there. Now, I don't smoke. Well, I do smoke, but I don't smoke that because it messes up my throat, you know. And um, and plus, I'm not 15 anymore, so there's that. But uh, this is cool. It's got like a little a little magnet. Do you hear the click? I know. <laughs> anyway, it's made out of uh, probably, if I had to guess, pressed uh, cardboard. Although it does look like wood. Nothing is made out of wood anymore. So I, my, my default is it's probably fake. But it's in really great shape. And uh, I decided that if I wanted a uh, a really obvious place to hide something, you know, something like this, this doesn't work. This is the first thing thieves look for. This is the first sort of thing that cops look for. I mean, you have a gigantic book in your house. You don't have books like anywhere else that look even remotely close to this. This is going to stick out like a sore thumb, and they're going to say, hey, your stash is in there, man. I know it is. Don't you lie to me, and uh, <laughs> it'll give you a really awkward uh, weekend in the Who's Cow, but I digress. Of course, it is made in China, as everything is, and uh, yeah, I got this at a flea market, and you got to wonder, <coughs> with something like this, what kind, of, what kind of story does it have to tell? What's been in here? It's not old. I mean, it's made to look old. But, uh, you know, it's maybe 10 years old or so, I, I guess. But, but yeah, I thought it was really neat. Even the, uh, the fake pages look like old book kind of pages. I mean, if you, if you kind of blur your eyes a little bit and stand at a distance and it's kind of dark, maybe a little foggy too, then you might mistake this for an actual book. Otherwise, not not so much. But uh, <laughs> I'm just going to leave this in my living room. And when people come in, I want to see what the response is. Because it is so obvious. Like, they'll look at it and be like, Is that where you keep your stash, Llama? Or, you know, or they'll, they'll, Why do you have a large book of Paris in your... Maybe they'll be clueless. I don't know, but... I thought this was interesting enough to share, and some of my scribers were like, you got to share flea market stuff. And I was like, why? No, the buy is not the crap you actually sell. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, let me know if you have one of these, something like it. Let me know what you do to hide your stuff. I think that's kind of interesting love to hear it and uh that's what i got for right now so i'm gonna let you go have a wonderful day thanks for watching i do appreciate you fellers and um what do you think i should put in here i mean being that it's obvious what it is you know maybe it could be like a decoy box like fake stuff like put in like three dollars or something or just uh, a fake valuables so maybe somebody will steal this nonsense instead of like your real stash, which is somewhere else.
actually not a bad idea. This could be like decoy stash, maybe, because it's so obvious. But anyway, <laughs> that's what I got. I'm out.